Moin Moin und damit begrüße ich euch zu einer neuen Folge Super Sedusa 2. Ja, beim letzten Mal haben wir quasi Kapitel 6 auf der Suche nach einem one -Night stand und Kapitel 7 Comedy Intermezzo abgeschlossen. Und nun geht's weiter mit Kapitel 8 Frau auf der Suche nach einer ernsten Beziehung. Ah, da spielen wir anscheinend wieder die gute Louise, die wir schon hier raus kennen. Es ist an der Zeit etwas was Festes zu suchen und den richtigen Partner zu finden. Kannst du hier richtig agieren und es nicht vermasseln, indem du den Falschen willst? Ziel, einen guten Mann finden. Legen wir los. Hey, Seth. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we're still good? Okay, great. Well, where are we gonna go? Because I wanna go somewhere where the guys are nice. I'm so sick of these players. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay, yeah, let's do that. What time? Eight? Perfect. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> That's what Wo du in der Bar abhängst. In der Mitte der Bar oder sitzen in der Ecke? Nein, nein, hier nehmen wir ganz schön die Mitte, weil man da am besten gesehen werden kann und so. Mhm. Let's go. Where should we sit? What about this one? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is good. This I like it. Perfect. <laughs> this is always a great place to start if you're trying to catch someone's eye. Mm -hmm. People are walking by, people are ordering drinks, mm -hmm. and so it's easy for a guy to start a conversation if you're, if you're there, versus in the corner just having yeah. a... Yeah, makes you noticeable, you're confident if you're standing in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your holiday. Oh, it was amazing. The weather was beautiful, the oh, beach... Really? Was... And what about you guys? Of course we guys. <laughs> But you have to go. Amazing. Wie du die Aufmerksamkeit der Männer kriegst. Lächel und amüsiere dich mit deiner Freundin oder schau sauer und unglücklich. Nee, nee, wir nehmen A. Guys love it when you're friendly and approachable, so. Yes, yeah. yes. Let's just have some fun. Yeah, we're gonna write this night. Yeah, so I know for me, if I'm uh, thinking of approaching someone, if they look more approachable, it's yeah. always good uh, versus kind of looking moody. Yeah, absolutely. And if they're having fun with their girlfriends, it makes them seem more approachable. You will have more fun with them if they're having fun with their girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And women look more beautiful when they're smiling. Of course, they always do. <laughs> so, ladies, what can I get you? Um, I'll have a gin and tonic, please. Yeah, me too, please. I'm having a good evening tonight. Bohre in der Nase und isst ihn, damit er sich nicht für dich interessiert. Sei freundlich zu ihm und frag nach seinem Namen. Sei ihm gegenüber kalt, er könnte dich anmachen wollen. Nein, nein, hier nehmen wir B. Really good, thank you. Oh, what's your name? I'm Stefan. Ah, oh, Louise. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm Sarah, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Well done, it's the right option. Mm -hmm. uh, why is that a good thing? I think it's good because it gives you um, a professional port of call if you're in trouble later on. Yeah, the barman uh, can always help out. You know, no one's going to spike your drink if he's watching it. Absolutely. And uh, if you ever had a drunk guy, you know, causing problems or whatever, he can help. So it's the right option. So hmm. what do you think about this bar? Yeah, I think it's a really good bar. Kein schlechter Tipp, ja. 
wie du auf die anderen Leute reagierst. Schau einfach zu deinem Freund und achte nicht auf die anderen. Gib vor, lesbisch zu sein und liefere eine Show oder lächle und suche einen kurzen Blickkontakt. Nein, hier nehmen wir C. really isn't it yeah I think that's uh, I mean women don't generally give very strong indicators of interest so sometimes this is the best you're gonna get <laughs> so it looks like I've got to find a new job really yes oh my God. I don't want to I love the people I work with you know yes yeah, see but don't worry I'm sure he'll find the better one yeah mm. I guess so it'll be fine it will be fine yeah Roger. Louise. Roger. Sarah. So, how's life? Great. <laughs> Zwölf Minuten später. Der ist nicht der richtige, oder? Where do you live? So, I kind of live on my mate's couch at the moment because my mum kicked me out and my dad also kicked me out. Then my stepdad kicked me out. But that's fine because, you know... That's fine because they don't like me, I don't like them. So we kind of just meet in the middle in this like really cool vibe thing where we're sort of like together in sort of like just mutual, you know, don't really care about each other, which means makes me really like independent and forward because I don't need them and they don't need me. And I think that's really cool. Mm. She does. Have a drink, it's really nice, try some. Das ist gut, mehr Zeit für mich. Zwinkern oder weise ihn zurück? Nee, nee. I think this is quite a clear indication that she doesn't want to be I don't know, want have any interaction between him. Yeah, this one um the right answer was to reject him because he has uh, problems with his family, bad relationships. So ah. what do you think of that? Yeah, this is an interesting one because I think if she was also to have bad relationships with her family, then maybe they could connect on a mutual basis but maybe if she has a very good relationship with her family they might clash later on wie du ihn zurückbeißt blamiere ihn gnadenlos fertige ihn schnell und höflich ab oder bitte dem barkeeper dir zu helfen let's go alter oh my god has everybody seen this guy I mean, it's no wonder your parents can't stand you. You're an idiot. What are you wearing? You look like a five-year-old. I mean, as if you thought you could come over to me and have a chance with this. I don't think so, Roger. wie der Typ da im Background geschaut hat. Very cruel, poor guy and also everyone else is going to see it. So other guys would be terrified to approach, just all wrong and yeah. nasty. Yeah. This isn't going to get you the outcome that you want. Yeah. Dann nehmen wir jetzt mal A. Stefan. Yeah. Can can you get rid of him please? Yeah, sure. Roger. Fuck off. Was zum Teufel? Wo hat er die denn auf einmal her?
Alter. Gut, Banane. Uh, well done for making friends with the barman. Yeah. And that allowed you to enlist his help to get rid of the annoying guy. Useful now. Mm-hmm. What a shame. Poor guy. I mean, it's not his fault, but too many issues. I could never date a guy like that. Yeah, I see. Did you see this guy behind you? He looks really cute. There he does. Had to get his attention. Oh my God, was kommt jetzt? Öffne dich. Ihm mit deiner Körpersprache und der Hasche hin und wieder einen Blick. Bück dich, sodass er deinen Arsch in seiner ganzen Pracht sehen kann. Geh aufs Klo, geh langsam und halte im Vorbeigehen den Blickkontakt. Lass etwas fallen oder mache was Aufreißendes mit deiner Zunge. Äh. <laughs> so this one, I'm going to say, is actually probably not bad if, uh, you know, she's looking for something casual. Really? But for a serious relationship, yeah. it's maybe not the first thing you want a guy to notice. No, I think it's going to be sending out all the wrong messages there. Mm -hmm. Ich glaube, hier gab es mehrere richtige Antwortmöglichkeiten. Ich glaube, A war richtig und C war richtig. Wir nehmen mal C. I'm gonna play it cool. Hmm, nicht schlecht. So here's a quite strong indicator of interest. Uh, she's walked by, held some eye contact, maybe smiled, mm -hmm. and you know that sends a clear signal then that the guy should approach her. Yeah. And the physical contact, potentially, if yes. she brushes past, it kind of breaks the friendship bound already that early on. I don't know if you've ever done this, but sometimes I've been in a bar and some uh, woman will brush past me eat, and I'll look and I'll see that there was actually loads of space mm. and she didn't need to. And so, yeah, I think it's quite a strong have sign. That, um, you instantly know that she's interested, right? Yeah. Zwei Minuten später. Na komm, Kollege, trau dich. Komm rüber. Na also, nicht schüchtern sein. Oh ja. You girls seem like you're having a nice time. Sei kalt und schwierig. Sei sehr freundlich. Sag, dich hab ich gesucht oder sei ziemlich freundlich. Ne, wir nehmen mal C hier. We're having a really nice evening, thanks. Nice, what are you drinking? Uh, gin and tonic, how about you? Uh, whiskey, bourbon. Nice, I yeah. love this bar. Yeah, it's a good bar, it's a nice Thank place. You. So he's approached, yeah, and if you're super, super friendly, maybe it's too much, because why would she be so friendly immediately? Uh, if she's too tough, he might get put off, so yeah. the middle ground is the right choice. Yeah. If in doubt. Middle's always right, right? I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Louise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my friend. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm Nick. Wie du herausfindest, ob er ein Party-Löwe ist. Frag ihn, wo man Kokain herkriegen kann. Betränkst du dich oft beim Weggehen? Frag ihn. Frag ihn, was sein Lieblingsbars und Clubs sind und welche Abende wo gut sind. Wie viele Frauen hast du im letzten Monat gepumpt? <lacht> Let's go, Alter! So, uh, know anywhere where we can get any the, uh, the, the Charlie? You know, the white stuff. You know, snow, 
You know, powder. You know. Um. You know. <sighs> cocaine, mate. Anywhere we can get any cocaine. Yeah. Um. My best friend actually died of a cocaine-induced heart attack last year, so... Um, hmm. You'd love this place. If you're looking for a serious relationship, asking for cocaine, probably not good, right? Charlotte, would you No, think? that's probably definitely not a good move. Who's a good person to ask for the coke in this situation? I really wouldn't know. So, where do you like to go out? Like, what's your favourite bar or club? Um, well, I don't really go to clubs, to be honest. Um, I like going to pubs. Uh, you know, nice little sort of chill out bars, listen to some live music, a bit of jazz maybe, and that sort of thing. Nice. That's the right choice. Uh, this is a sneaky one. So, uh, women often have some kind of subtext when they're Always speaking. Always have subtext. Always. I yeah? would say so. <laughs> so what's the undercurrent here? What she's trying to do is find out if he's a party boy. So if he's going to say, oh, on Monday I go there, on Tuesday I go there, and Wednesday that place is good, then she's immediately, she might be saying, oh, wow, that's great, yeah. But she's thinking, oh, okay. No time for me. Party boy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh. Uh, so you girls seem quite tight. Have you been friends for a long time? or? Yeah, we've been best friends since school. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm friends with a lot of my pals from school as well. Ah, oh, it's really cool. Yeah. Wie du seine Intelligenz prüfst. Wenn der Raus aber weiß, mit Whiskey Berm gemeint ist, bitte ihn eine Matheaufgabe zu lösen. Was passiert mit uns, wenn wir sterben? Darüber will ich gar nicht erst nachdenken. Ich finde aufgrund der Größe seines Hohensacks heraus, wie intelligent er ist. <lacht> oh Gott. Look, Nick, um, we are so sick and tired of stupid men. Right. Um, I've got a little test. Okay. Do you mind if I do my test? No, no, no. Cool. Just no. test your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Cool. Okay. Just relax. Okay. 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 Oh. You see, I just, I just feel the size of your balls, and, 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 and I can tell how intelligent you are. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're pretty good. Well done. Yeah. Let's give that about an IQ of 145. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You'll do. You heard this one, uh, Charlotte. It's quite a new scientific theory. Really? I'm... No, is the answer. I've never heard of that. And I'm doubtful whether that's true science. Ja gut, dann nehmen wir jetzt A. Is that bourbon? Yeah. You know bourbon's not real whiskey, right? Uh, well, actually, all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. See, the difference between bourbon and, say, a Scotch whiskey or a Japanese whiskey or even a Canadian whiskey is the bourbon is made from rye, 51% rye, actually, and nearly all of the bourbon in the world is made in Tennessee. You're not wrong, because my dad was a distiller. Well, there you go. And I like a man who knows his facts. So this is another moment where um, she's testing. I think it's quite useful to think that a woman might have, uh, you know, criteria for what she looks for in a man, and then she's kind of ticking off the boxes. By not simply asking him, but using questions to delve deeper and test him. Yeah, so if, if she's looking for an intelligent guy, she might have, you know, a few different ways of, of testing him out. 20 Minuten später. Um, I'm a big fan of tennis. Um, I'm a musician, so I play guitar and drums. Um, I like going to watch live music. I like watching live jazz and blues. 
Um, I'm a big, big, big UFC fan. Um, just the camaraderie of it and the respect and like the brotherhood and how much they love each other. I just, I just think it's amazing. Um, it's not so much about the violence of it, it's more about, you know, the respect they have for each other. I just find it really moving. Sag, dass das ein Haufen Scheiße ist. Sag das anhand der fehlenden Muskeln erkennen kannst, dass er nur zu sie zeigt. Gib mir Vögelgriff von hinten. Lüge und sag, dir gefällt's auch. Sage, dass da zu viel Gewalt gibt und frag, was ihm daran gefällt. Sag, du magst Gewalt nur im Bett. Nee, nee, sorry, aber geht gar nicht, Nick. Geht gar nicht. Oh, you're joking. You one of them? I mean, don't try and spruce it up as all fun loving and loving each other and caring about each other. UFC? It's just a load of brutes being archaic, tearing each other apart. Oh, brilliant. Yeah? What a waste of time that was. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. You've got it wrong. Completely wrong. This is bad because it's uh, blocking him. Even if you don't share his interest, you could at least find out why he likes it and, you know, listen for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just killing the conversation. Uh huh. And do you like UFC? Um, I've actually never watched it. Do you like UFC? Yeah, I like it a lot. We always watch it. Oh, great. Dann zeigen wir ihm jetzt mal, wie stark wir sind. Vielleicht mag er ja starke Frauen. UFC, eh? Well, I can tell you're just a spectator of it. What? You go to the gym? No? Well, uh, don't worry about it, because, like, um, I train. <laughs> Quite strong. But can I show you? Can I show you a little, a little move? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it goes a little something like this. Oh, nein! Okay, you ready? Okay, yeah. just, just, just keep breathing, 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 relax, relax, relax. Oh, Alter! <laughs> Luis, lass das! Luis! Alter! <laughs> das war zu viel des Guten. This one's pretty rude and uh he could be a, a featherweight or a straw weight or a, one of those guys, yeah? Little exactly. one. Exactly. Just super rude. Gut, dann nehmen wir jetzt die. Look, Nick, I'm going to be brutally honest and I don't know, I find UFC a bit Violent and a bit brutal. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is violent. It is brutal. I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of technique and there's, you know, there's a real artwork to it. You know. Okay. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe we could uh, watch it together sometime. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, this is good because she's not blocking. A block would be saying, I don't like it, I like dancing or something else. Um, and by giving him a chance to say why he liked it, she's kind of indulging his passion. Yeah, she, yeah, exactly. So it's like we were talking about it earlier, you like running? Yeah, but you don't say, oh, I just don't like running, I hurt myself, because then that blocks their interest. But you say, no, I don't like running, but yeah, when What do you like what about it? What do you like it? about what it, exactly? So we're out celebrating because Sarah has just ran her first marathon. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Thank That's you. Great. And a whole marathon. A whole marathon. So what's that, 26 miles or something? Yeah, yeah. Wie du herausfindest, ob er selbstbewusst ist, ziehe ihn wegen seines Haarausfalls auf, ziehe ihn etwas damit auf, wie inaktiv er ist, oder sagt er sich aus wie ein Pädophiler? <lacht> Was? Ja, yeah, 26 miles. Das ist amazing, nicht wahr? Das ist amazing, ja. Was ist das furthest, die du ever run? Like 
Oh, about 20 26 meters. meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what, you're a big runner yourself, I know, yeah? Yeah, I do, I run, yeah. yeah. What do you yeah. run on, in, in a park or on a treadmill? Or yeah, what? in the park. I've got a dog, yeah, yeah. we go running. you got a dog? Yeah. What dog you got? He's a big Weimaraner. Wow, actually. I've never heard of that dog in my life. Have you ever heard of that dog? Oh, OK, it's just me then, sorry. But you don't go to the gym or anything. I don't do go you? to the gym, to be honest, no. I swim in the bath tonight, but that's about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what do you, uh, what do you bench? Uh, like 180. 180, wow. Drums. Yeah, cool, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can tease a guy on his style. I think as long as it doesn't go too much into the over-personal. Yeah, I think you can tell it's a lesson for guys as well. So there's some things that you can tease women about and some things that they would just be, you know, uh, too personal mm. or too sensitive but uh, the other important point here is that it is an indicator of interest usually when a woman teases you so don't don't get worried if women do that to you and also you don't want to be necessarily with a guy who can't take being teased that's why it's a good test yeah so um are you uh are you single or um yeah yeah, yeah i'm single cool. yeah uh, yeah. Oh, guys, I just forgot. My friend is waiting for me outside. I've got to go. I'll call you later, dear. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stay. Okay, no problem. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, cool. So we're both single. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Das hat die gute wird Absicht gemacht. Ja, was auch eine nette Geste. Fragt, was er von einer Frau erwartet. Prüfe sein Konto statt. <lacht> was? Schau, ob seine Ohren groß sind, ob sie sehen, ob sein Schwanz groß ist. Oh nein. Can you, uh, can you unlock it? So I want to see how much money's in your account, just to... <laughs> You're joking. No, 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 I'm not joking. Can you imagine how many skint men I've had to put up with in my life? Nothing. No more. Does this face look like it should be flying economy? No. Show me your banking app. No, I'm not going to show you my banking app. Show me your banking app. You're telling me it's important for you to know how much I earn when literally you've met me ten minutes ago. Finally, you've got the point. Now open your banking app. Not a chance. The fuck do you think you are? <laughs> oh, it's uh... Pretty rude, yeah? There's something definitely wrong with that. <laughs> Most definitely. Do you only like rich guys? No. Money is not important. I certainly wouldn't be looking at their bank balance. Ja, gut, das war wirklich zu viel. Nehmen wir A. You seem like a really nice guy. Um, what do you look for in a girl? Um, <clears throat> a good sense of humour. Um, kind. Someone I can have fun with, someone I can have a laugh with, someone who wants to travel. Um, yeah, someone easy going, doesn't take themselves too seriously. Nice. Yeah. This is quite a cool question for women to ask, and guys, you might get asked this. Uh, in general, your response, if it just lists the physical attributes look, you look for in a woman, uh, it means you're probably not looking for something serious. And if you have kind of thought about what you want in a long-term relationship, then you'll have that already ready to tell her. Yeah, it shows aspiration if you're talking about her character. It, yeah, it seems more thought out. Yeah, there's certain things I really look for in a man. I like, 
I like a sense of humour and kindness. Yeah. Someone I can get along with, introduce my friends and my family and... Oh, is his family, is family important to you? Yeah, really important to me. Good. And you seem like you've got a sense of humour. I yeah. like that. Well, it's, it seems like we've got similar values, so... Yeah, it really does. Yes, that's, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fragt nach seiner längsten Beziehung. Fragt, ob man mal Kinder will. Oder sagt, du musst bis Ende des Jahres verheiratet sein. Was? Wir fragen ihn mal nach seiner längsten Beziehung. My, um, my longest relationship has been like three and a half years. Okay. What about yours? Uh, six. Yeah. I've been single for a couple of years now. I'm okay. more than happy being on my own. I'm just, I've just been looking for the right person. So, not into just you know, bouncing from relationship to relationship. And nice. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool as well. Um, it shows his pedigree. Uh, in general, if a guy is, I don't know, like 30 years old and he's only had relationships for two, three months, Mm -hmm. Could be bad. I would still ask him if you know he could have been doing charity work in Africa for several years or trekking Antarctica. I think it's worth knowing if there was a valid reason for this. So it's a potential red flag but could be okay. And I guess it's the same for guys looking for a serious relationship. If a woman's only had, I don't know, two weeks, one month, mm -hmm. then uh, it could mean that she's not relationship material. Or, yeah, maybe she's got a reason. Yeah. So I read this really interesting Harvard study and it said that 76% of women would rather their partners have um, like a one night stand rather than having an emotional connection with another person, right? right. But the men are completely the opposite. So 78% of men would rather their partners just have a bit of an emotional connection with someone but if they had a one night stand or meaningless sex, whoosh. It's mental. How do you feel? Well, I think they're both as important as each other. I think an emotional connection is just as important as having great sex. I think you need both to have a successful relationship. Now, do you agree or? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But, but what? Why well, didn't expect you to say that? Oh. Frag ihn nach der Beziehung zu seinen Eltern. Sag ihm, dass er nicht mit anderen Frauen reden sollte, wenn er dich datet. Oder ruf seine Ex an, um dich über ihn zu informieren. Frag, ob er sich mit seinen Ex noch gut versteht. Äh, was? Seiner, nicht seinen. So, was seid ihr? Oh. Das klingt nach einem Kerl, D, Alter. Also B ist hier auf jeden Fall falsch. C sollten wir wahrscheinlich auch nicht machen. A oder D schwank ich. Nehm mal A. Earlier tonight, before you came over, there was this guy, bless him, Roger. He's telling me all about his life and his family and how awful they are to him and he's not close with any of his family and and it just really struggles me how important that is to me. You know? Oh God, yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it you? Oh, just, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievably. I mean, my sister is, she's one of my bestest friends in the world. That's yeah. Nice. She's got four little kids and she's just the most amazing mom. She's, yeah, she's one of my heroes, man. I love her to bits and obviously my mom and dad. And, yeah. We're a very sort of tight knit family unit, like. That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this one? I actually think it's. It's going to be interesting to hear how someone talks about the people that they love. Mm. Whether it's their friends or their parents or their siblings. I think that tells a lot about something, tells a lot about someone. What would be a bad version, like a bad answer? I don't care. I hate my family, I don't care about them. Yeah, because it's very blocky, it doesn't give a reason. Even if he doesn't get on with his family, it would be nice to expand on why he doesn't. 23 Minuten später.
All my rings are like important. They all like mean yeah. things from where I've been around the world. What's that one mean? But this one was from Malaysia. Okay. When I was backpacking when I was young. It's very pretty. <laughs> what's, what's this one from? This one is from Nicaragua. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, very cool. Mm. About that one? Mm, that's just from London, where I live. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, la, la. Ja, das sieht doch gut aus. I really like you. Should we grab a bottle of wine and go back to mine? Yeah? Überprüfe zuerst die Größe seines Schwanzes, erkläre logisch, warum nicht, aber sag, dass du ihn gerne ein anderes Mal treffen willst. Cool, lass uns zusammen abhängen. Für was für eine Frau hältst du mich eigentlich? Du besorgst dir vorher irgendwie ein Kondom, denn safer Sex ist wichtig. Sag, du trinkst heute kein Wein, weil du bald schwanger sein wirst. <lacht> aber... So fies es auch klingt, hier muss man tatsächlich B nehmen. Also D ist falsch. F. E. A. Nee, nee, wir nehmen hier B, Leute. I'd really like that. But, um. Let's meet up again first. Like. I don't know, a date or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll, I'll give you my number. Alright. Just wanna put it in? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice that's fun. You, are you local or do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you get a cab or can you walk back? Yeah, I'm gonna grab a cab. So. Okay, sweet. I'll brought you outside and we'll order your cab. Cool. Alright, off to you. Well done, that's the right option. Obviously, it's maybe not the best way to start a long-term relationship to kind of jump into bed right away, mm -hmm. what do you think? No, I totally agree, but it's, um, yeah, I totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah, schön. Das beste Ende bekommen. So, Freunde. Und wie ist dann hier mit Super Sedusa 2 und Kapitel 9, Frau in einer Männergruppe, weitergeht? Das finden wir beim nächsten Mal heraus von Super Sedusa 2. Also, bis zum nächsten Mal dann. Tschüss.